Welcome back. So now you've met some of Dr. Moy's patients, people who have had successful bunion surgery and are already enjoying life beyond bunions. But when the need for bunion surgery is so common, how is it that Dr. Moy's techniques can be so much different, so far superior to most other foot surgeons? Let's hear from podiatric expert Dr. Jack Morgan, anesthesiologist Dr. Les Atterbury, and operating room assistant Alan Jones. What Richard has done is there's a number of procedures that we've done in, in podiatry and podiatric medicine surgery where the traditional method of doing them has had some flaw to it. They've been successful but not as successful as they could be. Given those procedures to Richard, he sits there and thinks about them, thinks, how can I do these things better? And then he's able to communicate with me how he feels he can improve those procedures and what he feels would be a better way of doing it. And as it turns out, that's exactly what's happened. Uh, examples of that have been the bunion procedure that we've used for many years. Uh, Richard has taken what has been written in literature and what we've used for a long time and has added additional special features to it that make it easier to do and make it a procedure that turns out a better result. Uh, this has happened not only with the traditional hallux abductal valgus deformity in a bunion deformity, but also with a tailor's deformity, which is a bump that forms on the side of the foot along the little toe. And this has always been a difficult area to do surgery on this metatarsal bone and to move it and hold it where it doesn't move very much. And Richard has created some different types of cuts that allow us now to be able to fixate this procedure and have a better result with it. And that's what I mean, the ability to see not just the procedure, but how the procedure can be improved for not only for himself, but for people around him. Because he does such a good block and it's so um, effective, the amount of anesthetic I give or the sedation that I give is, is quite minimal. Um, so the patients, again, when they wake up, they're much more awake and they're less likely to have nausea or vomiting. The second thing that's quite remarkable is his surgical skill and the technique that he's developed. Um, he's able to minimize the trauma and the inflammation that's associated with foot surgery and that greatly reduces the, the swelling, the inflammation and the pain that the patients experience postoperatively. When Dr. Moy gets in the OR, he's very focused on the task at hand. He knows just exactly what to do and when to do it, and that's very important for some. Some surgeons are not as confident in the OR. Dr. Moy's dissection techniques are very careful, very meticulous. He takes a long time with some things. He does it very gently. Um, he's actually in what I like to call the zone, where he, no outside influences bother him. He's very focused on the task at hand, and when he puts things back together, they're, they're, they sort of laid together naturally, and um, his closure is so careful that it's as good as or better than some plastic surgeons I've worked with. And I think that would lead to a more rapid recovery. Well, in case anyone is still skeptical, I'd like to introduce Terry O'Loughlin to share her story. Terry? Okay, you're an RN nurse. Yes. You've seen a lot of surgeries as far as bunions. You were skeptical I because was, you have bunions. Correct. I was the extreme skeptic. I originally met Dr. Moy for plantar fasciitis, and he said casually to me, you got to let me fix your bunion. Mm -hmm. And I looked at him and I laughed. I said, I will never, ever have my bunion fixed. So I had seen firsthand uh, patients in the hospital admitted postoperatively who were in a tremendous amount of pain, who had infections. They were miserable. And I said years ago, I'll learn to love my bunion. I will never have it fixed. And what convinced you, though? I mean, yes, you meet Dr. Moy, but he's just another doctor at that very moment. Absolutely. And to be honest with you, he showed me his uh, infomercial, and I kind of smiled and said, yeah, right. <laughs> I didn't believe him. I really didn't. I didn't think it was humanly possible to do this kind of surgery and not have pain. So shortly thereafter, I um, actually started working for him part-time, and I would take care of patients preoperatively. And I could not believe how many people came back to get their second foot done. 
Really? And I was amazed. So I would sit there and I'd ask them questions and I'd pick their brains and because I was shocked. I really did not believe him. And yet I heard patient after patient who told me it was easy. Yes. It was great. I'm here to have my next book done. And that was, to me, that was finally the proof that said he must be doing something right. Right. So after all these years you were going through pain, you selected the pain over actually having a surgery. Oh, absolutely. And because now? Because I thought for sure that the surgery was far worse than the pain. Right. So. And what about now? I'm convinced. I'm amazed. Um, it's been about two months, and it's truly everything he said it was. That's great. And that's why you have a big smile on your face. Absolutely. <laughs> well, is there anything else that you want to share with us? Just that as a nurse, um, I see firsthand what his patients go through, what his uh, operating room is like, and I can say with the utmost confidence that do not put it off another day, that it is easy, pain-free, and it's great. I'm so glad I did it. Dr. Moy is located in Orange County, California, the OC. But many people with bunions are not. So stay with us as we find out where else you can get pain-free bunion surgery done as we explore life beyond bunions.